What's up people of the internet, I'm the big boat here, with yet another video. In this video we'll be testing the Intel Celeron N2840, which is a power efficient processor based on the Baytrail architecture. It's a dual core CPU with no hyper threading of course, and it has a burst frequency of up to 2.58 GHz. The Celeron N2840 has the Intel HD graphics bay train as the integrated graphics. This iGPU is actually based on the same architecture as the Intel HD 4000, except that it's significantly nerfed with its whopping 4 unified shaders. We also have 4GB of RAM in single channel mode, as well as a 500GB hard drive for the operating system and also on which the game that we'll be playing today is installed. As for operating system we're using normal Windows 10 as mom also uses the PC. You can find a full description of the specs in the video description down below. The game that we'll be benchmarking today is Hard of Iron 4, which is a strategy game that I really love playing on my gaming laptop, but now we are going to see how it runs on the Celeron 1. I know that I'm wanting a bit too much from it, but let's get straight to the point. Before that, I have to make some notes. First of all, I'm using the latest version of the game with all of the DLCs as of the making of the video. Since let's be real here, if you've played the game before, you might know how boring Hoi 4 is without all that interesting additional content. Now, as for optimizations, well, I will be running the game in OpenGL mode at 1024x768 in proper full screen mode. I've applied this mod, and I will provide the link to it and a tutorial on how to install mods for Hearts of Iron 4. If you've pirated the game, which you most likely have done, in the video description down below, I've disabled some unnecessary for us low-end gamer stuff in the config file, and in the game itself, there's a command prompt which you can open with this button. I'll do testing with the debug smooth command applied and disabled, and I'll also apply the weather command, which disables weather entirely. The last tweak made was giving these countries to Brazil using these commands, and to finally get straight to the point for real, here are my in-game settings. 